Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of The Basement. And uh, we're looking at predictions. Round one, World Cup group stage. Predictions, predictions, predictions. Who do you think wins the game and what's the score? Very quickly. Okay, um, Peru, Denmark. Interesting. Peru, Denmark, um, I think will be one of the most exciting games of the World Cup. Yes, it's I agree. peeped to be one of the most exciting games of the World Cup. Um, I'll go with Peru taking it because of the striker who is feeling liberated and given a second chance. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd give him a go. Uh, so maybe 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Mike? 1-1. One, one. Tight game. Defensively solid from both sides. But a good attacking show. Mm -hmm. Yes. 1-1. One, one. Um, <coughs> both teams are teams to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually... My prediction is not based on any analysis or whatever. <laughs> I just would give it to Peru because they, for me, they are the underdogs in this game. Really? Yes. Yeah. I mean, if you look at history, okay. yeah, they are the underdogs. What's oh, going on? I, okay, I'll give it to Peru. Maybe one nil. It will okay. be a tight okay. game, yes. So, we're, d we're discussing predictions and we've been having many videos going out, you know, predicting different games in the first round yeah. and how those things are going and we'll be having more videos for each round of the World Cup. But, you know, as I was thinking about the predictions, I couldn't help but think about the fact that it must suck as a team when you're hearing these predictions. You know, you're England and you're simple predicting you being whooped, yet you believe in yourself. Eh? Mm. Um, and it's almost that aspect of the future being uncertain. And you, you, as much as you're a great player, I mean, and the prediction has been made, there's still a chance Panama could beat. Yeah, because uh, the ball rolls. The ball rolls. Yeah. So, what do you think when it comes to Christianity? Is it a prediction or is our future certain? Uh, for me, uh, I think in salvation, actually, I don't think I know in salvation that uh, uh, Jesus Christ, once you've accepted him into your life, he has protected your future for you and he has assured you that uh, your, the, your life. In, in the future, your life after death is certain. And so you don't have to worry about that. So you live calm, not worrying about what predictions could be there. You may not know the future, but that's you're certain right. about the future. Yes. Yeah. In fact, actually, that's what I was about to say, that um, <coughs> what we battle with everyone, the world, regardless of whether you're Christian or not, is predicting the next day mm. or the next five years. Uh, but what we have the certainty of is that in, in the inter eternity, we have... Um, eternal life with Christ. Mm. So that is set. That prediction is set. Regardless of what happens Regardless on of this what earth. Happens, yeah. Yeah. And either way, even your five years, whether it goes up as by your prediction or not, um, God still is in control of it. Yeah, and there's that, 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 that joy that comes with knowing even when on earth, even if things go south and life gets really bad, mm. I mean, God is still sovereign and in control of it. Yes, I actually can summarize it by saying that I don't know the future, but I know who holds the future. And once I know... Isha, you're deep today, eh? <laughs> I'm always deep. <laughs> but because I know who holds the future and I've accepted him in my life, then he walks with me every day. He prepares the way for me. Yeah. And so I don't have to worry. I sleep easy because he has taken care of that. All right. Yes. Thanks.